And I wanted to introduce, it's Leslie's kind of doppelganger in the, in the council, um, Heidi Clark, who looks after um, and is going to talk about um, the outside of the ropes and what we might see in leading up and a bit about the infrastructure and the, um, how that's going to, to work. Um, so I'd like to invite Heidi up to the stage. Thank you. Good morning. I think I have a real tough gig. I don't have an exciting video to show you, and you're due your coffee break in about five minutes. <laughs> um, I basically, my name's Heidi Clark from Causeway Coast and Glens Council, and I just kind of want to share the council's involvement um, in the preparations for the Open. So the council lead on two of the RNA's working groups, um, that being traffic, transport, and parking, which you'll hear quite a bit about this morning, and we also lead on the contingency planning. But the council is also, um, in working with Trin and learnings from Carnisty, we've set up our own working groups, um, those being Portrush Regeneration, Brand and Animation and Events, Business Engagement and Development, Service Continuity and Presentation, and then we also have a local lead on comms and PR. Portrush um, is currently undergoing transformation um, solely because of the open coming, and the Department for Communities have invested 17.5 million into Portrush, um, and that's included a public realm scheme, a brand new train station, an urban development grant, which has enabled private sector development to take place, um, car park improvements, and Revitalise, which is a grant scheme um, to local businesses to improve their shop fronts, along with some other community schemes. So our public, public realm scheme um, has enabled us to improve all our footpaths, pavements, um, and street furniture. Um, our new train station will be open in springtime um, and it'll look fabulous. I'm a bit biased because I dealt with the planning application in my previous job. Um, we are also upgrading Dunless Avenue Car Park, which was part of the council's program of work anyway. Um, but as part of the reconfiguration, it'll become the coach car park during the week of the open. Another area of improvement is at West Strand, where we currently have sunken holes um, that we're filling in, subject to getting planning permission on that and it'll just create a more usable space during the summer. Our brand and animation and events group, their remit is really to make sure Port Rush Town is an extension to the event, and we want our activities within the town to reflect the level of investment from Tourism NI and other partners to create a really high quality experience for visitors to Port Rush. Um, we want to build on the town's reputation as a service provider and a gulf destination. Leslie touched on Brandon. We have a plan, um, a Brandon plan and dressing plan. Some of that will include um, featuring some roundabouts. Uh, that's tourism and eyes made for Gulf Titan, which will probably feature on a number of roundabouts on the approach roads to Port Rush. Within the town during the week of the open, we'll have a full schedule of activities, including street artists, um, creating a family entertainment space, a history of Gulf Trail, um, an interactive Gulf Zone, um, there'll be fireworks on the Saturday night. Um, we'll have an artisan market running in the early part of the evening alongside live music. Um, and we want our activities to be outside Port Rush as well. So there'll be something similar to Atlantic Sessions in our other main towns, which is live music in pubs. Um, business engagement, which um, Carolyn's going to speak about later on. But we have launched in partnership with Tourism NI a business toolkit. Um, and we've held business engagement events in Port Rush. We had one last night and we will have another one um, in April, and we're also going to do a, a specific session for taxis. So to keep up to date, there's just uh, a council have a dedicated part of our website for businesses. This is the less glamorous and probably the most challenging part of our involvement in preparing for the open, um, is the traffic, transport, and, plan and parking plan. So different elements, it includes public transport, um, strategic road network, creation of park and ride, facilities, um, provision of reserved car parking, and looking at our local, er local area road network and ensuring that people not going to the event can still come to Port Rush and people living within Port Rush can still get about and go about their business. Um, the preparations for it started back in April 2016 because it's a huge part piece of work um, and it's not just the council working on it, it's multi-agencies including the PSNI, um, CSP, which is the RNA's car park managing, managing company, the AA, Tourism NI, um, the RNA obviously, 
Department for Infrastructure um, and then TransLink, as, long as, as well as um, our emergency services. So it was a tall ask. Um, in order to facilitate the event, we needed to find 7,000 reserved car parking spaces within one kilometre of Royal Portrush Golf Club, 14,000 park and ride site, 14,000 park and ride parking spaces at park and ride sites within 15 minutes drive time of the golf club. We understood that there would be uh, a peak of 75 coaches and 75 minibuses um, each day. We also needed to accommodate res residents who would be displaced during the week of the open due to parking restrictions on their street. Um, and we obviously needed to facilitate people not going to the event. Um, and all of this, knowing that our current real, real um, infrastructure was already operating at 98% capacity in the summer between Belfast and Port Rush. So a major aim of the park traffic and transport group was to encourage people to use public transport. And in order to do that, we obviously needed to um, augment the existing real facilities. So TransLink um, have done a lot in preparing for the open. And their trains are increasing, doubling in size from three to six carriages. They're running additional services in the morning and in the evening. Um, and this will increase, uh, increase the capacity of the trains, creating an additional 5,000 um, passenger seats on the train. And in addition to that, um, there's also backup coaches at Belfast, Bellamina, Antrim, and Ballamoney, creating additional 1,000 seats. So we are fairly confident that there will be capacity to accommodate the additional travellers from Belfast and those other areas. Um, our bus services, the Gold Line services from Belfast to Coleraine will be extended to go into Port Rush. I also failed to mention, trains coming from Belfast won't need to stop and change in Coleraine, they'll go straight through to Port Rush. Um, our local services, the Triangle service, has increased frequency. Um, and we'll also be stopping at the major caravan sites between Port Stewart and Port Rush. Our other services, the 402 service and the 134 will also be enhanced. Um, and we're lucky to have Claire Foe he is here from TransLink if you do have any questions. But also in terms of um, timetables and the ability to book in advance, your best bet is to just uh, to look at TransLink's website directly. To ensure a safe and successful open. Um, we obviously couldn't have unfettered access to parking in and around the golf club. So there is no spectator parking at the golf club and all spectators will be directed to park and ride sites. Um, and in order to manage the, the access to the park and ride sites, we're advising people to not use their sat nav. Um, Visitors coming to Port Rush will be directed to the closest park and ride site, um, dependent on kind of that day, what's closest to them and what the ground conditions are. And um, there has had to be road restrictions put in place and that'll be from six o'clock in the morning to nine o'clock at night. It's easier for me to show you on a map. The road restrictions will be from Crocknam, this is in Port Rush obviously, from Crocknamack Road um, along to the beginning of Bally Boogie Road and then from the beginning of the Bally Boogie Road up past the Royal Court Hotel to the crossroads of Bally McRae Road. And um, there will also be a restriction from Glenville Crescent, this is coming in from the west, Glenville Crescent to the beginning of the Crocknamack Road, that's where you would get access to West Bay. The park and ride facilities um, will not be advertising where they are. Um, because we'll just be encouraging, to pe encouraging people um, to follow the signs on the road, directing them to their closest one. At the park and ride sites, um, there'll be a shuttle bus then to take people to the course, operating at a 10 minute frequency, but in reality, that's gonna be more frequent because as soon as the bus is filled, the next bus will be there for you to get on. Um, as I said, the car parks are managed by CSP, um, which is the car park operator for the RNA and the PSNI. Anybody not coming to the to the open, but coming to Port Rush, are also they're also able to avail of the park and ride facilities, um, and the buses are all able to accommodate any persons with a disability. 
um, and motorcycles won't be able to get any closer to the course. They'll also be directed park to the park and ride facility. Um, other car parks, council car parks also used um, for the event include Sandhill Drive Car Park, which will become um, the coach car park for Transwink coaches. Dunless Avenue Car Park will be where private coaches are directed to. Um, West Bay will be for the minibuses to drop off and to park for the day. Um, and there's going to be the creation of a new taxi rank through the Metropole site. We've obviously done a lot of work with the community and business community to try and understand their needs and ensure that business can continue as usual um, during the week of the event. So we are creating a dedicated car park for businesses and their staff, and that will be at the recreation grounds um, at the Rumour Head. And then Lansdowne Car Park and Lansdowne Green will, will be the non-event parking within Portrush. I will be about afterwards and willing to ask any questions because I know that's a lot of information shared. But thank you. Enjoy your coffee break. <laughs>